Hello friends, in this video we will see how to perform experiment virtually in virtual platform as in the pandemic situation it is not possible uh, to do the experiments uh, physically. So let us see here in the address bar I am typing vlab so you can see here uh, this is the extension vlab.co.in okay this is initiative of ministry of education under the national mission of education through ICT so here some labs are here electrical and electronics computer science and engineering so I am going in electrical electronics and communication side we will see electric circuit lab how to perform the experiments and you can see here there are number of experiments parallel RC circuit parallel LC circuit Thevenin's theorem series RL series R RLC or LCR circuit, Kirchhoff's current law, voltage law, uh, parallel circuit. Okay, so in this in this lab particularly, uh, we are dealing with the circuits. So take one example, Thevenin's theorem. Okay, so we are doing the uh, we are doing uh, the experiment of uh, Thevenin's theorem. So it is the theory theory part. You can see here it is uh, uh, example is given in which we have to find out the current through uh, 40 ohm resistance this 40 ohm resistance is what it is load resistance a and b a or b ke beech ka ye jo resistance dikh raha hai ye kya hai it is load resistance because we have to find the current through this load resistance and there are two sources connected here 10 volt 20 volt so we know the uh, procedure for Calculating RTH and VTH in Thevenin's theorem for drawing Thevenin's equivalent circuit. First of all, we have to draw, we have to get the value of RTH, which is Thevenin's resistance, and then VTH, which is Thevenin's voltage. And then after, like this, here it is the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. VTH can be connected in series with, yeah, it has to be connected in series with RTH and then with RL and the current through load resistance is given by VTH upon RTH plus RL. So finally we got the value of current through the load. So we have to simulate. So see this portion. Okay. So I am opening another window. It is simulator. So you have to log in or sign up if you are first, if you are uh, using this VLAB first time, you have to sign up. It is very simple. Uh, I have already registered. So here it is my mail ID and okay. Uh, okay. Now it is open. Here you can see sometimes the Adobe Flash player is blocked, so you have to unblock this. So I am allowing here. Okay, so now it is allowed. After allowing this Adobe Flash player, you are seeing a library at the right hand side in which a switch, a bulb, non-contact emitter, resistor, wire, voltmeter, battery is given. Okay. So let us compare with the given question. Let us simulate. First of all, let us model this figure circuit 10 volt and 20 volt resistance. So what we have to do just pick and drag 
okay just pick and drag this is a battery okay now here you can see the default value is at right hand side the value is default value is 9 okay here it is 9 but we have to take it 10 so click on this battery put it 10 now it is of value 10 like right hand side push this just click on this show values button here so it is showing 10 volt battery now we take another battery so in our question it is of 20 volt so again click on this battery and in this bar give the value 20 so you can see here it is now 20 volts then 10 20 we have to take our resistance here 10 it is already of 10 ohm or resistance of 20 ohm so yahan pe main isko 20 ohm bana dunga aisa is pe click karke we can alter the values change the values now 40 ohm so just drag and we can also rotate so it is a 40 ohm it is a 40 ohm resistor now now it is 40 ohm okay now what about the connections just take wire to connect these you can you can take a number of wires or as minimum wires okay so uh, here one thing you have to keep in mind that if we just connect we want to connect it then it has to change the color here it is orange color okay here it is orange color and yes now it, the color color is changed this means that it is now connected now take another wire same process just uh, look look uh, at this color the color change means it is connected okay so we made a circuit we can directly connect it here also but for our simplicity So these are the wires. Now the given question is complete. Oh, we can also delete here. Just click on this element and click delete. now it is connected okay so it is the given circuit okay actually it is connected here ye connect ho gaya hai. now connect this okay so it is our figure it is given here also okay here also it is given like this here emitter is added but uh, we can also calculate now what is vth or voc voc is what just this resistance we remove this resistance okay and let us see the voltage across these two terminals it is voc or vth okay so just 
it is a voltmeter one lead here and put another lead here okay it is showing 33.33 here voc is what 33.33 so here you can also see in the in this question that it is 33.33 volts this means that our voltage is right we know for rth what we have to do for rth we have to deactivate the sources means we have to delete this source delete this source and these are voltages voltage sources so we have to short circuit in case of current source we have to open it now basically it is rth 10 into 20 upon 10 plus 20 so 10 into 20 upon 10 plus 20 it is 6.67 okay so across this the voltage will be 6.67 now we will draw thevenin equivalent circuit and let us check the values are correct or not so in case of thevenin's equivalent circuit there is always a battery vth okay always a battery and vth we have calculated also in this experiment what we have to do we have to calculate and simulate and then compare the two values so voc is 13.33 it is showing so 13.33 we put the value 13.33 now in series there is a register rth RTH is of value 6.67. So it is 6.67. Okay. Now RL, again RL, it is 40 ohm, it is of value 40 ohms. We know I can connect here directly also. Okay. Now the current obtained from this question is 0.29 amperes. The non contact take this non contact emitter and put here. It is 0.799. Uh, here it is point. 299 okay this, this is because the resistance is of 40 uh, we didn't change now it is 0 0.28 and it is 0 0.29 okay so in uh, calculation the value is 0 0.29 and in simulation also the value is around 0 0.29 so in this way you can perform number of experiments in this v lab in different categories like in electrical engineering also there are number of labs you can perform with the help of this virtual platform if you have any query please ask me in the comment box there are other features also you can ask me in the comment box Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and like the video and also share with your, with your friends. Thank you. Thank you very much.